Scott's behind the wheel driving. That can only mean one thing. Time to spend some money. So this deal presented itself a mere uh, six hours ago. So took a little road trip to Indiana to, to pick this thing up. And when you guys see it, you'll understand, but I'm just going to tease you a little bit for the next, I don't know, 20 seconds. But this is going to allow us to take our transporting game to the next level. When we need to go somewhere with a lot of stuff, we're going to be able to. Nothing's holding us back after this thing. So comment what you think it is. I mean, it's not, you know, it's nothing crazy, but it's it's going to be a nice piece, a nice addition. I'm excited to go see it. You want to be in the video? <laughs> People hate the end of the videos. He might like it though. Anyways, we're here at the destination that has the trailer. We just Here's looked at it. It's a nice piece. Take a look at this unit. So this is a 40 foot load trail trailer. Triple axle, 7,000 pound axle. I think it weighs uh, just about, I thought he said 7,000 pounds. So the payload on it is. 14,000 pounds, pretty good. Uh, it's in really nice shape. So I would actually looked at this trailer earlier this year when it was at Mid-City Trailers. If you need any trailers, get a hold of Keen Swank Mid-City Trailers. Uh, this thing's only been in this guy's possession for four months or so. So very, very clean. Uh, since I looked at it, 12,000 pound winch was added to it. Oh yeah. Never had a trailer with a winch. Always been something I've wanted. Have used come alongs and push stuff up trailers for far too long. That stops today. So realistically with this trailer, we should be able to get three vehicles on here. Pretty much any combination of any vehicle that we want. Jeep, Crown Vic, Battleac, Rex 3, Crown Vic, Battleac. Possibilities are endless. So it's in really good shape. Like I said, only four months on the road. The deck, I mean, I'll probably stay in the deck to make it look a little bit nicer. All right, so have had the trailer for two days, and uh, my dad has already stained the deck on this, and uh, just want to give a big thank you to him for doing that. He had uh, had three teeth pulled today, and even after that, he still came out here and stained the deck on this trailer, so there's not... Uh, not a harder working guy than him. I'm very appreciative and thankful to have him as my dad. So it's turned out really nice. And again, it's uh, really appreciative that he did that. So also here's a little uh, peek on how the winch is wired. So there's a battery disconnect switch. You just uh, turn that to off when you're not using the winch. It prevents any draw or anything like that. But over here, uh, well, custom bungee cord hold down. I'll probably put something a little more sturdy. But you can see here, uh, these two uh, non-terminated wires, these are for uh, charging the battery from the seven pin connector on the truck. So we'll eventually hook this up so this battery stays topped off when we go to go to use it. I'll probably uh, you know, utilize the bullet connectors on the other end too so I can unplug it when the winch is in use so we don't accidentally overload the, the truck's electrical system. But yeah, pretty nice setup tons of space for storage for straps really like this thing but overall this is going to be uh, a nice piece so obviously have that open uh open two car aluminum trailer some stuff going on with that right now and we're limited space on that thing so the big thing for me was it really sucked when we went down to ls fest and had to take two trucks and two trailers to get two cars down there that was just annoying logistically this is going to be way better and we got a super good deal on this so uh, that makes it all better glad i got the gooseneck uh, prep package in my truck so it'll be the first time hooking up anything gooseneck or fifth wheel to my truck so interested to see how that'll work but i mean look at this thing it's just in really good shape it's essentially brand new beautiful tires i mean tires are decent China tires. I got a problem with China tires, so we'll probably end up doing something about that. Put a little bit nicer, nicer tire on it. Maybe like a 14 ply, or let me know what you guys think about tires. I don't know. I know the Goodyears are pretty much the only US USA made tire for trailers these days, but if you guys have a solid recommendation, I'll definitely 
take it to uh, take it into consideration but all LED lighting pull out ramps in the back I mean it's a trailer I mean there's not a whole lot to say about it it looks nice it can carry stuff it's got a winch it matches my truck I'm, I'm happy with it it was a good deal that much more pro yeah we're getting there we're getting there for sure so we got some big trips uh, planned this is going to be a key element in getting to said destination so i'm gonna back the truck back here and hook it up and we're gonna get on the road a four hour drive back that was gonna be it hopefully it goes smooth All right, my man, this is a big unit. Wow. This yeah. is big. It's a monster. <laughs> it looks good, though, behind the truck, I'll say that. Yeah. This is a sweet setup, so got everything hooked up in the bed. That all worked really well. Got some exploded burners there. You know the deal on those. But everything with this trailer checks out, so I'm excited to get on the road. It's ideal. It is ideal. So let's hit the road and see what this is all about. Absolutely. See you after your ride. Great setup, so had to stop for fuel. Didn't quite have enough range to make it back. We also decided while we're in the area, we might as well test this trailer out for the first time. So we're gonna be swinging by Kyle's house, picking up the Crown Rick, throwing it on the trailer, seeing how it totes, you know, it sits on there, looking at it in all of its glory and clean up Kyle's yard. So everyone wins with this deal. So we're just filling up now. With the trailer, I think we've been averaging about 12 miles a gallon. So I think he said it weighs 7,000 pounds. I mean, that's about what we were getting when we were hauling the Battle Act with the aluminum trailer. That's, I think, about 7,000 pounds, maybe. But, um, yeah, I don't know if what's going on here. Let's kind of slow down a little bit. Not super, super thrilled with that. But, hey, <laughs> what are you going to do? Trailer's pulling great, though. You love that. Yeah. And it looks good. Avoided all the cones this time? I don't know. Let's not talk about cones, guys. Come on, please. Anyways, we're going to uh, finish filling this up, slowing down, like I said. We'll go to Kyle's house, see what he thinks, load the crown rick up, get back on the road. All right, what do you think? Oh, this is, this is a unit. This is, this is big. Yeah, it's a, it's a big dog for sure. Yeah, it'll be nice. It'll be ideal. You can take multiple cars side by sides everything with one tow rig yeah with one tow rig one tow rig everyone knows the rule are you excited to uh get the crown rick out of your yard or are you gonna miss it i mean i don't know I don't care <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been here long so yeah that's a good point like a week all right well we'll get it loaded up and see how this thing tows i guess oh, yeah. you might have to adjust those a little bit for him Seems like it. I can't really tell. I can't see the tire. Uh, no, we should widen them. Like that? Yeah, probably. About there. Stand by, guys. We might need some wood. be easy. Probably see you. <laughs> I know you're gonna be like, what's going on here? <laughs> Look at this unit. <laughs> Coming through the drive through Well, it's the next day. We got the trailer back at camp. 
Just look at this thing. Man, in the daylight with a car on it. I mean, it really puts into perspective how big this thing actually is. So, man, it's a pretty cool piece of equipment. I know trailers aren't necessarily the most exciting thing, but what is exciting is the capability that this thing is going to provide for us to go do cool things. So, it's a necessary piece of equipment, and we got a good deal on it, and it's ours. That's going to do it for this video. Appreciate your guys supporting this matter as always. A lot of cool trips that are coming up for this thing to be on. Motorcycles in the background, that's always cool for noise. But we got a lot of cool places we're gonna be going. This trailer's gonna be going, the truck's gonna be going. All the equipment that we have here is gonna be going to one place or another. So again, appreciate your guys supporting this matter. See you in a couple days. Make sure you head on over to rrutvshop.com, pick up some side-by-side -side parts, pick up some merch. All that stuff helps greatly in keeping us out here making these videos, buying this stuff so we can keep making the videos for you guys. So see you in a couple days.